Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Give EOS radiation time to clear. Right, so we need to go back to the, to the Nexus. Still got a few bits and pieces to do here. Anomaly detected. Where? Not seeing it. got these to explore as well but first let's head back to the Nexus We've got more things to explore here, so let's do this quickly. We don't need to watch these all. Is that a black hole? Anomaly on sensors. Alright, where is it? There it is. Deploying probe. Detecting what's left of a ship. Alright, I'm going to wreck the ship. Alright, that's all there is on that one. Anomaly detected. So what do we have this time? In here, all right, then anomaly on sensors. I'm sure there's something there, all right? We'll come back I'm to that. Up something. Thanks, Suvi. Ah, oh, here we go. Probes launched. I found something. Yay! Anything else here? Anything else I can do with that? Or was that it? Right, that's it. Okay, cool. I'm picking up something. Ain't nothing here. I'm picking up something. All right, so if you were on it, we are on it. Don't you worry about that. Alright then, let's dock. Hey, 
Hello everyone, we're back. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. You are very welcome. Not sure what that Asari behind you is doing. Right. Yeah, you know, they're Vetra. Keeping tabs on things back here? Yeah, I try to watch what's going on while we're away, but it's nice to check in person. Going well, I hope. As well as it can go with limited resources, yeah. Tiny steps. Damn, Ryder, you just missed a good show. One of the alarms malfunctioned, and we thought it was an attack. It didn't take long to figure it out, but in that time, they managed to scramble at least half the station's defenses. Why are the alarms still malfunctioning? Probably a leftover issue from when the Scourge fried systems. It's not that bad. I once worked in a building with a fire alarm that would glitch every other week. Exciting stuff. Hi, Vina. How may I assist? That's all. It has been my pleasure. I'm sure it has. Hi, I'm Diaz Garson, founder of the initiative. Welcome to the Nexus. Why are they still using Gian Garson's voice? Come from. Turians live on a planet known as Power. The atmosphere's weak magnetic field shaped our evolution into the life form you see today. Our signature carapace, the hard exterior shell you see on Turians, is actually metal. It protects us from the intense rays of power and sun. What's Turian history like? The history of my people is proof that peace eventually wins out. Disagreements among species turn into lasting friendships. When Turians first met humans, there was a misunderstanding between us that could have had disastrous consequences. But with patience and restraint, humans and Turians eventually joined together in a mutually beneficial partnership. We look forward to doing the same in Andromeda. Uh, that's not entirely true, is it? No, that one isn't working yet. We're glad you could visit. Welcome, native of Andromeda. My people are known as Asar. It would be my pleasure to tell you about our kind. Alright. Okay. Very well. Asari are the oldest civilized race in the Milky Way galaxy. Among my people, diplomacy and cooperation. 
nation are prized over war or conflict. Where do you come from? Asara comes from a planet known as Thessia, which many consider the crown jewel of the Milky Way. It's a thriving world blessed with prosperity and peace, and the center of the largest economy in the galaxy. With the high concentration of element zero on Thessia, Asari evolved powerful biotic abilities. It is considered a hallmark of our species. What's Asari history like? Thousands of years ago, we played an important role in founding the Citadel Council, the seat of government for our home galaxy. In the ensuing centuries, Asari placed great value on cooperation and collaboration. Many species look to us for leadership and guidance. Due to our lifespan, sometimes reaching 1,000 years of age, we are patient in our decisions and prefer long-term solutions over short-term gains. Mm -hmm. Farewell. We look forward to forging new bonds with our friends in Andromeda. The wisdom you share is our reward. All right. Thanks for stopping by. I'm a drone. Are you interested in hearing more about my people? Okay. Of course you are. We may look scary, but don't let that worry you. It comes from living on a harsh world. We're a species that knows how to thrive, even under the worst conditions. Where do you come from? An ugly rock called Tichanka. No sense lying. It's not a planet most people want to visit. We have predators, nasty weather, and not much else. But it gave us our identity, forced us to adapt and evolve. Everything about us is built for survival. How many species do you know that have a pair of spare lungs just in case? Or four testicles? What's Krogan history like? Colorful, you might say. Growing up in our neighborhood, only the toughest survived. That usually amounts a lot of fighting. You'll hear stories, so no sense covering it up. We once had a great society, but I'm ashamed to say, we squandered it. It's why a lot of Krogan are here in Andromeda now. They're the smart ones, the ones looking for peace and a fresh start. Uh -huh. Thanks for chatting. We're all looking forward to meeting our new neighbors. This is an image of the Citadel, considered the seat of government for many civilized races in the Milky Way galaxy. Here, the Council deliberates on matters of state. It is a champion of the common citizen, eager to help those in need. As with all political institutions in the Milky Way, conflict is rare. Peace and cooperation are the rule of the day. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call bullshit on that one. Okay. We hope you'll Solarians are considered one of the brightest scientific minds of the Milky Way. We're known for our quick thinking, technological savvy, and intellectual powers of deduction. Where do you come from? Solarians originate from a world known as Rakesh. It's a tropical planet covered with bushes and rainforests. As an amphibious species, we're at home in Rakesh, the lush jungles. But with our technological advancements, we can adapt to nearly any environment. We look forward to studying the wonders of Andromeda and the rich diversity our galaxy has to offer. What's Solarian history like? Cooperating with the Asari, we were the second species in the Milky Way to help form a galactic government, the Citadel Council. From time to time, we also guided other species, such as the Krogan, to better channel their natural gifts towards worthy pursuits. It's our belief that the careful application of science and intellect is the key to improving the quality of life for all. Uh, I'm thinking, I I think you're missing a huge chapter in that. It's been my pleasure. Rest assured, the people of Andromeda have nothing to fear from Solarians. Oh dear. This is an outpost for Milky Way colonists arriving in your galaxy. They come seeking a fresh start in Andromeda, yearning only for a land they can call home. If you encounter an outpost, feel free to drop by and say hello. Your new neighbors are eager to make friends. Uh huh. Hello there. I'm a human being. If you'd like to know more about my people, just ask. All right. Good to hear. Humanity is a diverse species. You may notice different skin colors and religious beliefs among our people. 
people. Yet we don't let those differences come between us. We <laughs> celebrate our diversity rather than fight over it. Oh god, this is painful. Where do you come from? Humans come from a planet called Earth. It's a beautiful blue world with everything from oceans to jungles, snowy mountain peaks to deserts. It's also an oasis of biological diversity. Scientists calculate Earth contains nearly 9 million unique animal and plant species. What's human history like? Humanity is a young people compared to many of the other Milky Way races. We didn't discover spaceflight until much later. But what we lack in age, we make up for with enthusiasm and a pioneer spirit. We'd like to think we can teach our fellow travelers a few new tricks. That's one way to put it, I guess. I'm glad you stopped by. Next time you see a human, ask about ice cream. It's one of the many great things we bring to Andromeda. Of course. Gotta have ice cream. This is Arc Hyperion, one of several ships that made the long voyage from the Milky Way galaxy to Andromeda. The thousands of colonists aboard have come in peace, united by their dream of a better life in your beautiful galaxy. You need not fear their arrival. We are all citizens of the universe, eager to be your friend. God, that's cringe. Hey, Garson. Hello there, neighbor. I'm Jan Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Okay. Great. If you're seeing this, it means our Pathfinders have done their job and made new friends in the galaxy. Welcome to the Nexus, but I want to put your mind at ease. Seeing our arcs arrive in your neighborhood probably raised some concerns. I'm happy to address them. What are you planning to do in this galaxy? Great question. I'd be worried about that too. I can assure you, we have no hostile intentions whatsoever. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the initiative looks forward to doing just that. Why did you leave the Milky Way? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mystery. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was a call to adventure I could not resist. Thank you for taking the time to listen. On behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers, we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us. Alright then. Welcome to the Cultural Exchange Center. Please have a look around. I just We're have. Just getting things up, Pathfinder. I'm glad you could stop by. Pardon the dust while we set everything up. How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. So when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. The idea of meeting new people, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges. I couldn't resist. What goes on here? The Cultural Center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. We're just getting everything ready. Hopefully it won't be long before we have our first visitors. Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Yeah. Thanks. Of course, our hope is that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. Sure. You are looking at an image of the Milky Way. The original system of the colonists now arriving in Andromeda. Home to countless life forms, the Milky Way is a galaxy where friendship and peace are held in the highest regard. 
Those arriving in Andromeda bring with them this spirit of enlightenment. They look forward to making your acquaintance. Right. I'm Jan Garth, founder of the Initiative. All right. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the cultural center. Please have a look around. Uh, what's in here? We hope you'll enjoy learning. Tech Lab. Fellas probably had the same idea. Wouldn't mind a seismometer reading though. Sam, any chance? Why is there anything sparking around here? Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. All right. Hey, right, you're not talking. Research Center. Right, what else have we got here? Sure glad I went to school for this. Thanks for What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you you're the pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. But there was also when sparky thing in there and another sparky thing in here another power short was there anything else in here was it just that no it's just that okay to assess the nature of the damage. What is a failure in operations? Right, so I need to look out for the sparky things. These power outages are making them. Hydroponics. Locked. Locked. All right, nothing around here. Just when I balanced the air mix, another Yahoo has to come wandering through. Aren't you the Pathfinder? Dr. Camden, head of hydroponic sciences. Mind the seedlings. Are you always this rude to people walking in? Only when a mistake could kill everyone on the Nexus. What do you mean? <sighs> hydroponics is our air, food and water. A frail green line between us and oblivion. 
We almost lost it all during the mutiny. Now it's my responsibility. I know what surprise responsibility can be like. So I hear. Perhaps we could share our burdens. I need samples of Andromeda's plant life. Our own specimens should acclimatize to them. Bring me any plants you find. You'll have a bounty in return, and my thanks. Alright, cool. So I've got that to do. Nothing else around here. Doesn't look like it. Anything else on the floor? Sure. Let me know what materials you need, and I'll find you something. That's a relief. I'm a merchant. Vehicle general. What'd you say? Nice to see you again. We haven't met. There was a door back here. Ah, the vortex. That's your flag, everyone. That's Petrovos. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Lay it on me. So, folks try and help and all, but we have a limited pool of ingredients. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. Right. I get a feeling the testing will be interesting. Don't worry. Dudge may complain a lot, but he's loving it. And he's the best chemist I know. You're in good hands. Excellent. Hey, Dutch. Oh, another one. Damn it. This is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry lab. We'll keep crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. You say that, Dutch, but here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. I'm standing right here. They're guinea pigs, damn it. Chemists should have guinea pigs. Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and, and being nice. Bad people giving you free things and helping you set up. So inconsiderate, right? They keep bringing things, tables and chairs and this bar and lights. Wait, you're making fun of me, aren't you? Don't no. let you off. He's a sweetie, really. I'm not. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean, <sighs> yeah, I'm a dirty squirrel. Yeah, that's pretty, that was pretty damn good. Hey, Liam. Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in, sleep is ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. Feels good, right? I feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. There we go. Getting our shit together. Showing the new galaxy that we have it sorted. If I keep saying it, it's true, right? That's how it works. Right. We need to go to operations. Check out the sparky things over there. Talk to Tan. Mm, might need to rework the colouring on my clothing. Habitation, cryo... Operations. Anyone here? No. This is Abbott. Our first outpost, Prodromos, has confirmed full deployment on EO. 
Uh, keeping an eye out for things. Anything that sparks. Oh, was there one in uh, Kesh's office? How many times have I told you this story? Wait, what? You be keeping count? Pathfinder, I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power Good shortages. Shot. That's not funny. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. Superintendent Cash reminds everyone all power grid adjustments must be approved beforehand. Alright, okay, so that's done. Got there, Drek. Excellent. God damn it. Did you tell him I was coming Ryder, can you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? Right. You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. The two of you seem close. It's been Kesh and me against the galaxy the moment I got her. Well, maybe not as much now, but it sure was early on. Any logistics updates are due within. Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will let you know. What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. <laughs> no promises. Right, so is the power sources thing done? Speak with Addison on the Nexus. Speak with Tan. First murderer. Let's get murder evidence. Run the equations at Sam Node. Right, I've got a shit ton to do. Right, Addison should be up here, so let's go have a chat. To our not so favourite person. This isn't what we wanted, but what choice do we have? You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Cool. Colonial Affairs, please advise Director Tan of your status. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and Nexus thresholds are your tools your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. Nice. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. So, I decide what groups to wake up. 
Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. All right, Brekka. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. All right. Let's see what we've got. All right, so I need to get more points and I can open up more of these. All right. No one over here. Oh yes, I was just going to meet you. Hello. Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance vid maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Towns asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? You don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? <laughs> I'm game if you are. Okay, interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. You were great. I'll get to work editing. Excellent stuff. Cash were you were you the white dot here that I needed to talk to? I think you probably were. Alright, let's go see Tan. Hello. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. 
I plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. <laughs> ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eagle's Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder... Ugh. <laughs> right. Yeah, that was definitely cringe. What's this? With some pride, we remember those who gave their lives in service and expression of the Ryder, universe. this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can, Hyperion Medbay. Will do. A reminder, you have AVP outstanding. Right. Have to talk to Addison's assistant about viability perks. Sounds useful. Yeah, I've already done that. Hey, Cora. The whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Third time's a charm, if you happen to have a Pathfinder around. Can't always rely on luck. From here, it's hard work. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Model of the Ravuna, an early train starship, and their first to travel beyond the ma mass relay. Secretly acquired blueprints of the SSV Normandy SR2, a stealth frigate based on designs co-developed by the Systems Alliance and the Turian Hierarchy. Hmm, I wonder who got those. Humanity's first crewed iron engine starship, built using technology proven by the ESA Smart One probe in 2003 CE. Notable European interplanetary missions. Excellent. Anything else around here? Promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? No, that's good. That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. 
course you do, Tan. Of course you do. Why, thank you, Cora. Okay, let's... Uh, cryo bay, habitation deck, docking bay. Uh, this one, I think. A few things to do around here. All right, Governor. I'll make it right, Dash. I promise. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of Cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were going to start families out here together. I have a pendant to our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there, Sure thing. Hello, what do you want? Oi, Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Why is that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for Prodromus was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That would be great. Thanks. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. All right. Hey, Doc. Harry, what's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. She's okay. Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. They're in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Scott? Is that you? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? I don't know how to say this, but he's dead, Sarah. What? It was a freak accident. But it's Dad. He can't die. He... I know. It's been hard on everyone. I didn't get to say goodbye. No one did. What about finding home? Dad kept telling me how beautiful it would be. Just wait till you see it. It's amazing. Even better than the hype. At least that's something. I should be there with you. Well, you were never one to quit, Sarah. A little nap won't hold you back. Right. At least Mom and Dad are back together. Somewhere. We will be too. Right here. I hope so. I... 
What happened? The connection was only temporary. Her condition remains stable. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. Uh, memory triggers. We get to see Sam in Sam node as well. Ryder, that was a hell of a thing talking to your sister in a coma. Can't say I really bought into the whole Sam implant, but well, that was pretty amazing. Yeah, it was. I had no idea we could do that. Just when you think you've seen it all, and here a 600 year trip to a new galaxy seemed like science fiction. Something new every day. So you and Lexi swapped jobs? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, <laughs> <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. So it made sense that Lexi and I switched places. She's younger. Well, for a sorry. They're still teenagers when they're 200. And she's one hell of a doctor. She'll serve the Tempest well. We'll miss you, Harry. Just make sure to raise some hell once in a while, will you? I'm living vicariously through you. <laughs> Deal. How's Sarah doing? Everything seems fine. Hearing your voice had to help. Even if you did bend the truth there. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. <laughs> That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know. Alright, anything else around here to talk to, investigate, doesn't look like it. Alright, now that's done, we need to head to... Uh, habitation deck. Nope, nothing to say. Angry woman. It's you, you, Pathfinder. I have a word or two for you. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead and will all soon follow. This might be my dad's mess, but I will clean it up. Talk about ego. You're no different from him. You think you could do this all yourself. Go to hell, Pathfinder. Moron. Right, not sure what that was for. Oh, right, I need to take this back to uh, the bar. Hey, Lani. Pathfinder. I have to go now. See you later. Later. Um, you're right there, Captain. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex's quarters. 
You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. <laughs> he was right about going planet side, though. I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Thanks, Captain. Will you be bringing Hyperion folks out of stasis? That's my job. We're keeping it to specific personnel for now. Those who can help the Nexus get back on its feet. But with outpost settlement starting, we'll soon be able to wake up more. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the Quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Good strat. Why did you join the Initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Thank you, Captain. Right. Oh, memory trigger. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. All right. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive. But an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. Synthesis. One of the many options we had at the end of three. Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. 
Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. It's not though, because we've Welcome got these. Back, Scott. Dr. Arbor Dana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the? Sam! Malicious code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Attempting to count command malicious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or. Sam, you trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me! Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, yeah, there we what go. happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. How do you feel? Are you okay? I cannot feel pain. However, I would avoid repeating the experience, which is the purpose of pain in organic life. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. All right. Let's quickly pop into here first, listen to these new audio logs. Then we'll call this an episode. Your father's personal logs. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. There, Sam was right, that was the beginning. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this will be a Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.